everyone, welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Machines and Tools, we draw everything from hammers to tractors. So let's draw. Today I'm going to show you how to draw this train. So let's begin. These are the supplies that you're going to need for our drawing lesson today. You're going to need either a drawing pad or you're going to need a piece of paper. I have a dollar store drawing pad here and mine is 11 wide by eight and a half inches long. It's basically the size of a regular piece of paper. You're also going to need a pencil, an eraser, and if you have an old dollar store paintbrush lying around that you haven't used for paint, you can use that to wipe away eraser bits and dust from your page. That's always fun to do. We're also going to need a lot of color today. You're going to need black, red, yellow, light blue, and if you don't have light blue, you can just use your pencil or you can use a light coat of black. And then you're going to need three other colors for the cars of the train. I'm choosing light green, purple, and blue. I'm also going to use a fine tipped marker. It's a black marker. If you have one, you can use that, or you can always use your black coloring pencil. Okay, let's begin. Let's draw a train. This is gonna be fun. Let me wipe off any eraser bits or dust from my page, or sometimes I have dog and cat hair. <laughs> it flies everywhere. So let's begin. On the left side of your page, we're gonna start the train here, okay? The first thing I want you to do is draw a rectangle. Make it a big one. I'd say like this. So that takes up about half of your page. And then we're gonna draw three smaller rectangles, pretty close, but not touching the big rectangle. So watch what I do. I have a little, little bit of space in between. There's one. Here's two. They're squares. They're not rectangles. And here's three. I'm getting very close to the edge of my page there. <laughs> okay. So the next thing you're going to do is on the front of the train, you're gonna draw a round shape like this. Right. And on the bottom, I'm making kind of a weird shape, but look, straight line, another straight line, and then up like that. And then the, on the front of the train here, see where we put the round line? We're going to start making a rectangle from that line up over and down, just a thin little rectangle. That's gonna be where the smoke comes out. And on top of that smokestack, we're gonna draw a slanted line, a slanted line, and a flat line, just like that. Okay, so over here at the end of the front part of the train, we're going to draw a line up, a line across, and a line down. We're going to make a little square or a rectangle. And on the top of the train, we're going to draw another rectangle that comes out a little bit. 
just like that. And we're going to give our train a little, a couple of little square windows. Now we can't forget the wheels. We're going to give three wheels to the front of the train. Two little ones and a big one. Why don't we start with the big one at the back here. Just a big round wheel here. And two little wheels here. One little wheel. Two little wheels. Okay, now what I'd like you to do is take your eraser and you see this line in here? I want you to erase that line, erase this line, erase this line, and erase this line so we don't see that in the wheel. And if you accidentally erase some of your wheel, all you have to do is come back and draw it right back in. <sighs> My wheel doesn't look like a wheel. It looks more like an egg. <laughs> I'm going to make it a little more round. I always do that. I have a hard time drawing wheels. So I'll just erase. Try to make it look like a wheel instead of an egg. Okay, now the fun part. <laughs> and I erased a few, a little bit of the line in between, so I'm just refilling that in. Okay, so you got your wheels done. Inside the wheels, we're going to draw another little circle in each one. So they look like little donuts. Don't worry, I'm not going to start talking about donuts again. I did a video on how to draw a tractor and all I could think about were donuts. <laughs> okay, we're going to do the same thing on each of these little cars. We're going to put two little wheels on each one. We're going to erase the line and then put a little circle in the middle. So let's go ahead and do that two circles we're going to erase that little line in the circle wipe away those eraser bits and if you erased any other part that should be there just Put it back in. And two little circles in the middle. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that for the, uh, the last two cars as well. Two circles. I'm going to do this one too. Two circles. Then I'm going to erase those lines inside the circle. Okay. Wipe away my eraser bits. and take my pen and draw any part that I accidentally erased there. All right, and then put little circles inside to really make it look like a wheel.
Okay, now what we need to do is we need to attach these cars. So all you have to do is draw two little lines like this. Now this guy is attached to him. Same thing here. Two little lines and two little lines. Now they're all attached. Now what I want you to do is draw a line just under the train like this. Don't touch the wheels. Just a straight line, as straight as you can get it. And we're going to draw the rails. Now watch how I draw the rails. They're slanted. Just like this, we're going to draw them underneath the train. Don't touch, don't put the line through the wheels. Just draw some lines this way. There. Okay. How are you guys doing? Now, let's see. I want to give a little smoke. I want to draw a little smoke. So let's draw a few little circles. There. That kind of looks like smoke coming out. And these cars can't be empty. So let's just do some round things. Let's pretend it's coal. Because every time you see an old movie with an old train, they're always, they always have coal. <laughs> I don't know why they always have coal, so let's give them coal. I'll give you a few minutes to catch up, or a few moments, not a few minutes. All right, now the fun part begins. Let's color in our train. Let's start with yellow. And you can color in your train any color you want, okay? But I'm going to be coloring in this piece yellow here and this piece yellow here, but not the windows, okay? So let me start. If you're using colored pencils, coloring pencils, don't press down too hard because if you press down too hard, you might break the tip of your pencil. And if your hand starts hurting while you're drawing, then you're, you're really pushing down too hard. And turn your pencil once in a while so that you don't wear it down all on one side. Don't forget to turn your pencil. Turning the pencil. And this applies for crayons too. If you're using crayons, I want you to turn your crayon once in a while. Because you could also wear down the tip of your crayon too quickly if you don't turn it. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color this in a second time using very light strokes. I'm coloring in circles. This is called putting on a second layer of color. 
it makes the color nicer. It makes it more brilliant and vibrant. And when you use black and you put a second layer of black, it makes it darker. So if your pencil is bright to begin with, like a yellow, it'll get even brighter. Can you see the difference here? I can see the difference. Turn your pencil once in a while. Let's get that nice and yellow. Great. That looks fabulous. So let's do the same thing here, but don't fill in the window. Very gentle, gentle coloring. Turning your pencil once in a while. I'm going to let you guys keep going. I'll be right back. I'll just put my microphone back on. I just realized I had my fan going and um, I'm sure you could hear it. So I thought I'd turn that off. You guys are probably finished this part already. I'm going to put on a second layer to make that yellow really, really bright. And I'm turning my pencil once in a while so I don't wear down the tip. And if mom and dad are there with you, I just want to say to mom and dad, if you have an Instagram account and you like to showcase your kids' art on your Instagram account, please tag me. I would love to see what they did. All of my contact information is in the About section or in the description below. got that nice and yellow. I think we're going to do all of the insides of the wheels. All of these we're going to do yellow. So why don't we go ahead and do that right now since we have our yellow pencil out. Just fill in all of the little circles of the wheels. Don't forget to turn your pencil once in a while. Sometimes we forget when we're concentrating. There we go. So far, so good. <laughs> 
The next color I'm going to choose is red. Now I'm going to do the top here in red, the top of the cab of the train, I guess it's called, where the conductor and the engineer sits. Turn your pencil once in a while. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and put a second layer in. I'm going to color it in a second time. I'm applying it very, very lightly. See the difference? One layer here, two layers here. Okay, now let's do the bottom part of this. I have a, I have a fly. <laughs> a fly just flew onto my drawing. Did you see that? <laughs> All right, he's gone now. <laughs> the bottom part of my smokestack is going to be red. It is springtime here where I live. He's still there. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, I got him. Yes, as I was saying, it is springtime here where I live and the little black flies are starting to come out of their nests. I don't like black flies. <laughs> I don't like mosquitoes. All right, I'm putting on a second layer. I don't like insects, really. I know some people like spiders, but I don't, I don't like them. They move too fast and they give me the, <laughs> they make me shiver. <laughs> the only bugs that I really like are butterflies and ladybugs. All right, so why don't we change things up for a minute? Let's take our black coloring pencil and we're going to color in the smoke and the top of the smoke stack. just like that and now the smokestack the top of the smokestack turn your pencil okay I'm gonna give a second layer of black to the top of the smokestack. I'm going to leave the smoke as is, that's fine. There. I don't know if you can hear in the background Outside my window, there's a few birds. They're called morning doves. I drew one one time. This is the drawing that I did of a morning dove. I'm sure you know what they are. They make that sound like, coo, 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 like that. And there's one outside my window and he's been cooing the whole time. I love morning doves. Next, we're going to take our light blue and we're going to just fill in the windows with one layer very lightly. There. 
there. Just very lightly, one layer, that's it. Okay, so now we are going to take, let's see, red. This whole area here is red. All right, so take your time and color all that in red. Use a gentle touch and turn your pencil. You might have to stop and sharpen your pencil because this is a big area here. I might have to stop and sharpen my pencil too. Turn your pencil. Have you ever taken a train ride? When I was a kid, my father worked for a train company and he used to get free train travel. So whenever we went across Canada, we would always take the train because that was part of what he got from the company was free train travel for his family. And I traveled mostly to the Maritimes of Canada. The Maritimes of Canada are New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and Prince Edward Island. At that time, there was no train. And right now, actually, there's no train that goes to Prince Edward Island. But we would take the train all the way to Nova Scotia and take a ferry to Prince Edward Island. That was a lot of fun. We used to go camping. All right, I'm going to go in and I'm going to put a second layer of red onto my train. Don't forget to turn your pencil once in a while, and if you need to stop to sharpen, go ahead. I'm going to try to see if I can finish this without sharpening it. We'll see. Turn your pencil. When I was a little older, when I was in high school, I was allowed to go on the train by myself because I had a friend. She was my best friend at the time. She moved away to Toronto and I was living in Montreal at, the t at that time. So once a month, turn your pencil, <laughs> about once a month, I used to take the train by myself to go and visit her on the weekend. I was very lucky I was able to do that. I have to stop and I have to sharpen my pencil, guys. It's getting too flat right now. So here I go. a little better. That's better. And when I was an adult, still talking about trains, I visited Europe. And I took a train well, I took lots of trains on that trip. I took a train from England to Belgium. And you might wonder how you can take a train from England to Belgium, because if you know your geography, 
there's water between those two countries. <laughs> Ooh, I got a little dust. So what they would do was that you would take the train to the coast of England and the train would actually get on a boat. And we would stay in the train on a boat and cross the English Channel, which was the body of water. I'm going to give this a third layer. You don't have to. If you'd like, you can. But I would like it to be just a little darker. Now that I've sharpened my pencil, I have plenty of red to apply if I want to. Turning my pencil. So that was kind of neat being on in a train on a boat. <laughs> And I took a train from Holland all the way to Portugal, which was a long, long trip. I was traveling with a friend at the time. See the difference? This was two layers. And usually two layers is pretty good, like the yellow, but the red, I don't know why. It's not, it needs three. So my friend and I decided, well, it's a long trip. Usually we just, we sat in the chairs. They call that coach. If you sit in coach, that means you're sitting in chairs with everybody else. And then there's something called first class where you still sit in chairs, <laughs> but usually there's nobody next to you and you get a lot of free food, <laughs> but it costs more to go first class. And then in some trains, they actually have private rooms that you can pay for, and you've got a little bed and a little bathroom in there. And that's how we traveled from Holland to Portugal in a private room. Okay, so how you guys doing? Did you get your train all done with all that red? We're gonna be using red for one more thing. And that's this, this little thing down here that I don't know what the name of is. <laughs> but every train has one. I hope you're remembering to turn your pencil if I'm not reminding you. And I've gone ahead and given it two or three extra layers there. Okay. Now let's take, we're going to color in these three. And I told you at the beginning that you can choose any colors you want. I'm choosing purple, blue, and green. And I think I'm going to do this one in green. Whoops. Let's get rid of that. This one in blue. I think I'm going to do it that way. But you can choose any color you want. So I'm going to start with my green. I'm pressing very, very lightly, very lightly and I'm turning. Color, 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 color. Turn. Color, 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 color. Turn. And when I color in, I color in circles like this. I think it gives a nicer look than straight lines, but that's just my style. I'm 
This is a very colorful train. I don't see trains like this on the train tracks. <laughs> this is like a cartoon train. Turn your pencil. Okay, how you guys doing? I'm gonna give this a second layer of color. I'm gonna color it in a second time. Remember, that's called it, giving it a second layer of color. And if you wanna get technical, this here, this is actually called pigment. So you're applying a second layer of pigment. But that's advanced. We can just say we're applying a second layer of color or a second layer of green. But if anyone ever says to you, you know, I want you to apply a second layer of pigment, now you know what that means. Or if they say, you know, you need more pigment there. Or this pigment is this, and that, now you know what it means. <laughs> there we go, look at that. That's a nice bright green. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start my second one, my second car here with my blue. Pressing very lightly. Color, 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 color. Turn. Remember? on one of those train trips that I went on. Closer to Portugal, I think it was. The train stopped and everybody was wondering why, because it, it wasn't a planned stop, it was in between stations. So all of a sudden, we heard something, an announcement, but it was in Portuguese. <laughs> We didn't speak Portuguese. So some people around us, we were in the, um, the dining car at the time we were having lunch. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to put a second layer of blue in there, okay? A second layer of pigment. We were in the dining car and we heard some people kind of smiling and laughing and we decided to ask. We asked, there was a lady next to us, and I said, do you speak English? And she said, yes. And I said, what, what, what did the announcer say? What did the engineer say? And she said, well, they had to stop the train because there's a herd of cows crossing the tracks. And there's one baby cow that decided to lie down on the tracks and he won't move. And so they were trying to, they had the conductor and the engineer and some of the guys who worked in the train. They're all out there trying to get this cow to move. And it was stubborn. He did not want to move. He was just, everybody got out of the train to watch. It wasn't a very big train. But we were watching as they were trying to convince this little baby cow to get off the tracks. <laughs> It was really funny. And eventually the farmer came back and he had some kind of food in his hand and that's how he got the little cow to come off the tracks and everybody just started clapping their hands and smiling and it was so cute. All right, so I've got my second one all done. I'm gonna start my third little cargo car here with my purple and this is a great example for you okay look at look at this I don't know if you can see the difference see on this side 
and then if I turn it, look at how far down it's gone. That's probably because I didn't turn my pencil enough. This, when it gets far down like that, it could snap very easily. So I'm hoping that it doesn't snap. I'm gonna go especially light on this one because I don't wanna break my tip. And I'm gonna gently turn my pencil once in a while I really don't want to break the tip of this one because I love this purple color and I don't want it to wear down too fast. I hope you chose some really nice, vibrant colors. You could have made them all red too, or you could have made them all black or all yellow. This is your work of art, your creation. You get to choose the colors you want to use. And there's no wrong choice. Any color you choose is right. Okay, how are you guys doing? I'm going to go in and apply a second layer of pigment, a second layer of color of purple, just coloring it in a second time, pressing very lightly, especially with this one, because I don't want to break this one. And I'm coloring in circles, turning my pencil once in a while. I have another story about trains. When I was, I think I was 21 or 22, I lived in an apartment right next to the train tracks. And every time a train would come by, <laughs> everything would shake. Because I really was, I'm not kidding, maybe 10 feet from the train tracks. It wasn't the best apartment in the world. <laughs> And it's all I could afford at the time. Don't forget to turn your pencil. And my gosh, the first time that happened, I thought it was an earthquake. I got so scared and then I realized, oh my gosh, it's the train. And there were lots of trains going by. I would say there were at least 15 every day and the whole apartment would shake. I didn't stay there too long. <laughs> okay, so mine's all done there. I'll give you just a moment to catch up. Okay, are you all caught up, my friends? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our black, black coloring pencil. And we're going to fill in the coal. There, just like that. I'm not going to give this a second layer because I want it to be kind of blackish, grayish. I'm going to do the same thing for the other two. My heaters are clicking and my dog is snoring. <laughs> okay, now for the third one. Right, I've got my coal all colored in. I think I'm gonna have to sharpen my little black pencil. Look at how, whoops, look at how short it is. But you know what my philosophy is? If it can fit in the sharpener, I can still use it, so. 
why don't you catch up there and I'll sharpen this. If I can find my little sharpener, it won't fit in my big sharpener, that's for sure. But I have a little sharpener here. You know, one of these little sharpeners. That's the only one I think it'll fit into. So as long as you can sharpen it, you can still use it. Hmm. There we go. That's a little sharper. Hmm. I wonder how long I'll be able to use this. I hope I can get all the tires done because that's what we're using next. We're using black for the tires. So let's fill in all of those tires, okay? I'm gonna do mine one at a time because I don't have much black left in this pencil. I don't know if I'll be able to do a second layer, but I'm gonna try. I might have to go and find another black pencil though. Don't forget to turn your pencil once in a while, guys. Guys and gals. <laughs> I always just say guys, and that usually means boys and girls. Turn your pencil. guys doing okay? Got a little dust. You guys keep going. I have to find another pencil or I have to find another sharpener because this is way too dull. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. I have one of these sharpeners. I'm going to see if it's going to fit in or not. Let's see. Oh yeah, it'll fit. I hope it doesn't break. Oh, that's a little better. Okay, that'll have to do for now. I'm gonna put it back in my pencil extender. That way it'll be easier for me to use it. It looks long now, but it's only this big. <laughs> All right, so now I think I'll be able to do my second layers. As long as I remember to turn my pencil, I should be okay here. And if you're using crayons, don't forget to turn your crayon too. Now I'm gonna go back into each wheel and color it in a second time. Give it a second layer of color, a second layer of black, or a second layer of pigment. This train reminds me 
of Christmas one year, I always try to make a gingerbread house. I think it's a lot of fun and of course you get to eat it <laughs> after. But one, one year I decided to do something different. And I'll show you a picture here. I did a gingerbread train and I had a whole station <laughs> and I called the station Sweetwater and that was a really fun project to do. That was my gingerbread train and train station. I like to try to do original things. You know, we could I could always do a gingerbread house. That's always fun and they look great. But I like to do things different once in a while. Don't forget to turn your pencil. And let's get that second layer on. One year I even decided I was going to do a gingerbread haunted house for Halloween but I just didn't have time for it. I would love to do that though one of these years for Halloween I would love to do that. Halloween is a big celebration for me. I love that holiday. I love anything spooky. <laughs> And I love the candy. <laughs> Don't forget to turn your pencil. You see the difference between these wheels and these wheels? It looks better with a second layer, I think. As I was saying before, the yellows, the, the light colors, like the yellows and the greens, they look brighter, 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 brighter. But the reds and the blues, purple, black, they start to look darker. And that's what I would like to see, darker. I don't see many trains anymore actually because of where I live. I live right in the mountains and there are no trains that come to this area. There's no tracks. Sometimes when I go shopping, when I get closer to the city, then I see a train once in a while, but I haven't seen a train in a while and I haven't heard that whistle. That train whistle that warns you that it's coming. Don't forget to turn your pencil. Okay, I've got all my wheels done. Oh, I forgot we have these things in the middle here. Let's color those in black as well. Those little rectangles that we, we drew to connect the trains, cars together. I forgot about those ones. And I want a second layer on that too, just to make that nice and dark. There we go. Well, we're almost done. What I'd like you to do is take your fine tipped marker or black coloring pencil and go over the tracks, go over the lines in the tracks, just like this, just to make them stand out. That one looks a little thick, that's okay.
And then this long line underneath here, I'm also going to do with marker. I'm going to add marker to it just to make it really stand out. Okay. Now this is fun. That was fun to do. How's yours going? Did you get it all done? I hope you enjoyed this, my friends. It was fun doing a train today. It was a long lesson, and I'm really proud of you, and I'm sure that you've done a beautiful work of art, so you know what you have to do? You have to sign your name, always. Anytime you draw something or paint something, create any kind of beautiful work of art, I want you to sign your name, take ownership of it, and be very, very proud of yourself. So, I hope that you enjoyed this lesson today, my friends. And remember, Mom and Dad, if you post your kids' art on Instagram, don't forget to tag me. The link is in the description below. So, kids, we'll see you next time on Machines and Tools. Thanks for watching. Bye.